What is going on lads? Welcome back to another video on the channel and this time it is a pretty special video. If you're here, if you're subscribed, this may be the reason why you're here. Tops Chrome Formula 1 last year we opened a 2020 box of these and it was a, a really good box and it was a personal for myself that time. This time we have another one, the next year's edition after being delayed for weeks if not months. Um, these were supposed to come out a lot earlier. They are finally here. I'm recording this a day after the release day, but they were shipped out to me like three days ago, I think. Maybe on Monday or Thursday. Anyway, they are finally here. Tops Chrome Formula One. We have brakes up on the side called brakes.com. It will be in the description. Um, we are doing two box breaks. We may do some random team or random driver breaks as well. But this time it's just pick your team. Um, some F2 teams have been split up, so make sure you go check that out. We will be live tonight, probably when you're watching this video, if you're watching it on the same night as it's being uploaded. I'm probably live right now on YouTube and Twitch.tv slash console breaks. So this time, like I said, last time was a personal for myself. This time it is not actually for myself. I did get these boxes allocated from my distributor. However, I had someone hit me up saying, yo, I'm really looking for a... Um, for a Formula One box, he's a loyal cost customer of mine. Um, he's also Dutch. And I said, you know what? I have one of these that I want to open for a video. And he said, if I can buy him, you can open it for a video. And I said, safe, let's do it. So I'm opening this for him. Hopefully he gets some really, really nice hits. So thanks again to him. Now, if you're ever interested in a personal and you trust me enough to open it for you on a video, of, cut, of course, I don't cut any of these parts out. So. You'll, you'll see zero cuts in this video because then it will make it look like I'm, I'm you know, not trustworthy. Um, so this is just one take right here, right now. Full box of Top Scrum Formula 1 for... Not for myself this time. This is actually the first time I do a video that it's not for myself. So it's pretty interesting. But like I said, if you ever want that, make sure you go hit me up. Let me know which box you are interested in having a personal of. And if you want to be featured as a video... We can um, we can discuss that. Of course, you gotta trust me enough. So thank you to him for for trusting me the way he does that I can I can make some some fun videos out of it, and then he can get the cards. Of course, I also gave him or gave him. I also sold him a bit below the resale price a um, a tops chrome light box. So. That one is getting shipped out, sealed to him. And here we go. A full box of Top Scrum Formula 1 2021. Let's see what these look like. I am really interested. Because I have no idea what we can expect from these. I'm expecting a lot of differences or similarities to last year, I should say. That's a decent start. We have a nice one at the back here. That seems like an insert of some sort. Well, we start off with a Valtteri Bottas Grand Prix winner. Not bad, let's see which way is this going. I think it's upside down. There we go, first pack, come on. Ooh, that's a nice one. Lando Norris, base. There's a Fernando Alonso base. I'm not sure what I'm seeing here. I'm seeing a lot of color. Wow. Oh, this is a red liner. Oh, these are nice. These look really, really sick. Robert Schwarzman from Prema, Prema Racing. That's an F2 team, of course. Um, not numbered, but these do look pretty, pretty nice. Let me get rid of this dust in the stock over here. There we go. There we have it. And it's a decent looking car. I like the, the coloring on that. I thought at first that we had some really special insert, but that is not really the case. I think all these cards will be sleeved because they are so valuable, but I'll leave some till the end. I'll sleeve them after the video to not take too much of your time. Yeah, we're only five minutes in. We have to get it going. Contourbreaks.com if you want to be involved in these breaks. We also have Panini Prism. Oh wow, what is this? That is a really interesting coloring on it. it looks like the Premier League logo. You guys see that? It actually does really look like the Premier League logo. Wait, is that... That's one of those faulty cards. Wow. Alright, well, we have... Allison, A George Russell. 
And look at this. We have one of these faulted cards. Now, I don't know what happened to these last year, but that's the Premier League logo, right? See, I don't know what this is. I'm not sure if this is meant to be like an auto or whatever it may be. If you guys do know, let me know. I don't know why this is here. I saw it in one box last time. It is literally the Premier League logo. I don't know what this is meant to be. And then at the back, we have a refractor of Max Verstappen, Abu Dhabi, Grand Prix winner. Interesting one there. That was an interesting race. Of course, this is not last year's, but the one before that. So not the, the spoken about Abu Dhabi race. But if you guys know what that card means, let me know. Because is it a replacement for an auto or is it like a replacement for a redemption? Because there's nothing on there. It's completely... I don't know. I don't know what it's meant to be. If you guys do know, let me know. Also, the second card was a George Russell, if I forgot to show that in this card. But there we go. I've, I've seen comments about the last video. The last video is like an insane amount of views. My most viewed video ever. And I saw more comments about more F1 content would be nice. So here we go. Here it is. There's a Robert Schwarzman. Bang. for Verstappen base. Nice one. Very nice one. Fernando Alonso. And this is a car of George Russell refracted. These are better than last year's. I think. In my opinion. Although the printing is a bit off on this one. Unfortunately. But this is a nice one for Max Verstappen. Bang. Here we go. I've already lost count of the amount of packs we've opened. Oh, I see a little carbon here. Could be numbered. Could be numbered. Valtteri Bottas base. Ooh. Daniel Ricciardo portrait. That's nice. That's nice. Look at that. A little Tsunoda rookie. Oh, wow. Is it numbered though? It's a the path to the podium, but it's got like a carbon vibe to it. These are not numbered. Still a very nice card. Looks, looks good. I do like it. I do like it. Still looking for our first number there though. Yuki base. And Ricciardo ports it. Okay, okay. Last time I think we had a 30 minute video, so expect around the same time this time. In terms of length. I mean, you guys watching it already know how long it is, but you know. Yuri Vips, Future Stars, high tech that is. Here's our first purple, I think these are the 299, there's a Kimi. This is a refractor, Franz Toast, with like a little print line on the right here. And it's a Pouchard, I think he's alright, I think he is pretty good. These are the 399, sorry. Not 299. I think this guy is pretty, pretty good. But I could be wrong. Someone correct me if I am. I think this guy is alright. Who understands? Who understands? There we go. First one on the board. And of course, last year's, the boxes were, or at least the cards were less valuable. It's blown up massively over time. You guys have probably seen if you're watching this video. These are not cheap boxes. Oh my god, that's an orange. Wow. Orange, that could be to, to 25, I think. Hamilton. I think that's the 25. Fettel. Wow, that's a Latifi refractor. Oh my god, is it a portrait? That would be insane. Latifi refractor with once again a print line dot like through the name. All right, please focus. <laughs> it is not focusing at all. Oh, damn. I think the, the refractor bit is just too heavy. Orange, indeed. It's looking like... It's looking like a portrait. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. These are not numbered. Why are they not numbered? Because of the red angles, maybe? Because it's got like the red corner in? Why is this not numbered? Is it like a special insert, maybe? I don't know why this is not numbered. I have no idea. That is a sick card. I thought it was going to be the 25. It is a portrait, but it's... 
a base orange. Let me check this. So we have checker flag, purple checker flag, gold orange wave, orange checker flag. It's not a checkered flag though. It's orange. Oh, orange red is one in 98 packs, and I guess it's just not numbered at all. That's a bit disappointing. So it's called an orange red with the red corners. It's a bit like the carbon in Top Chrome, like as in the soccer football products. Anyways, here we go. Samaya, future stars. Raikkonen, driver of the day. Pierre Gasly, driver of the day. And another red liners, Sebastian Vettel again. Another Vettel. One in 98 packs, that's still a really nice hit, and it's a portrait, so it's definitely going to be worth a little bit. Gasly's a great driver as well. Not a bad car. There's a Nanini. Oh my god, we have a gold. That's a gold wave. I'm not sure if these are numbered, but I think they should be. There's a Steiner. Alonso Refractor, what do we have here? Nissani F2, are these numbered? 4 of 50. Nissani for F2 dance. Wow, okay. Too bad it's not the best card you can pull, but 8 to 50 is really nice, of course. These do look really, really nice. Not a bad pull there, a little gold wave. Roy Nissani. Not bad. And there's a Fernando Alonso. In the LP. Let's put these packs on top of each other. Alright, here we go. Let's get all the way. I think it's one in four boxes this year around, so that's pretty disappointing. As a George Russell, as a Drugovic, as a driver of the day in Turkey, Vettel. Ooh, nice refractor. Refractive portrait for Gio Vinazzi. Not bad. Quite some packs to go still. We have a purple. Could be a. Yeah, I think it's another one to 399. We have a refractor right in front of it as an Ocom. As a Carlos Sainz for Ferrari. And it's a Fernando Alonso. 251 of 399. Nice one. It's a sort of base, but it's not a part of it, of course. Still, not too not too bad. Let's remove this one. So that's already three parallels. I think it's like three to three to five on average per hobby box. I'm not entirely sure. Someone Correct me if I'm wrong. Also, while you're here, a subscription would be much appreciated. We are closing down of 550 subscribers, so it would be fantastic. Leave a like if you're still there, you know, if you're watching up to this point. But, oh, we have a. Oh, what is that? Looks like one of those carbon cards again, like half to the podium maybe. There's a Daruvala, a Sato, and a half to podium. Charles Leclerc, nice one. So these are all with that carbon background, so probably none of them will be numbered. Well, I guess that's not confirmed. I'm sorry if it hasn't been too focused on the actual cards. I forgot to pay attention to it, really. Right, here we go. Just enjoying this too much. There's another Hamilton. Ooh, there's a checkered flag inset. Not sure if these are numbered, but they do look really nice. There's a Leclerc base. Total Wolf Refractor. Oh wow, these are sick. Look at that. But Esteban Ocon. Not numbered, but that looks fantastic. Total Wolf, the mat that. Let's 
All right, a few packs left. Come on, we need a little big bag now. It's been a dry box. Daniel Ricciardo. Give us at least like a Max or Hamilton base here. Yeah. Mazepin and a Giovinazzi C41. Refactor. That's another path to the podium, I think. Another Max base. Charles Leclerc, path to the podium. All to the Bottas. I wonder if these can be numbered as well. These can be numbered. They must look really sick. With like extra coloring in the background. Alright, we have four packs left here. Come on. Give it a little auto. Auto or maybe a redemption. Redemption auto. We'll take that. The refactor at the back there. Another Danny Rick base. Lundgaard and a... PS3 refractor, nice. Decent. PS3 is alright. Of course, he's now been. Oh, he hasn't. He has been drive testing. Drive testing? He's been doing some testing for Haas today, I think. When I'm recording this. Uh, but Haas, lots of trouble going on in that team. And I think Magnussen is now replacing Mazepin, which is also interesting. Someone knows what it's like to win a race. What do we have here? Another red liner. There's a Bottas base. The TV portrait. There's a Zendeli. And a red liner Mick Schumacher rookie. Bang, bang, bang. That is nice. That is a very, very nice hit. It's going up on the wall. Rookie red liner. Refractor. Mick Schumacher. Two packs left there. Yeah. Marcus Armstrong. Roger. Pierre Gasly. James Key. I actually pulled this base refractor last time as well. Last, last year. In a break. Or maybe in my personal box. I don't even know. But come on. Police. That's not bad. There's a Lewis base. That's a decent card. There's a Lando base. There's a Tsunoda a rookie portrait. That is really sick. Really, really nice. And the last one is a Max Verstappen RB16B. The car. Not too shabby. So it was actually a decent box with a number to 50 as well. I'm just really pissed off about that. About this card. Because I feel like this... Is meant to be an auto, but it's like glitched or something. Maybe we, maybe I should get in touch with Tops or because that's literally I swear that's the Premier League logo, and I don't know why the fuck it's there. Like, what is this? I'm not sure what it's meant to be, but I think I may have to get in touch with with Tops for this one. It's literally the Premier League logo. I can't be asked then. Anyway, that is really annoying. This is a nice end though, a little rookie, Tsunoda, Lando base, and Lewis Hamilton base. So we did hit it 8 to 50. We hit two cards to 399. Unfortunately, the to 50, the gold wave, although it's a really sick looking card. Not one of the best cards you could pull, 4 of 50. Still nice though, I hope. I hope the one who it's for, I'm not gonna put any names out there, but I hope you're happy. Or not too disappointed at least. Um, and thank you all for watching. It has been an honor. If you want to see more F1 content, make sure you smash the like. Drop by our streams. Subscribe. Turn on that notification bell to get notified when we are live or upload a new video. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.